A villager who trades enchanted golden apples for dirt? Yeah. No way! In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the funniest fake Minecraft speedruns I've found online. And these get even worse as the video goes on. So if you like my video, subscribe. Our first run of the day begins in a spruce biome. Nothing that would leave me to believe it's fake just yet. He goes to do the first thing any Minecrafter would do, which is collect some wood. But as he is finishing up collecting wood, something pops up on the screen for a sec. If we go back and play this in slow motion, we can Bro. clearly see this guy is using a hack line. I'm not sure why he thought we wouldn't notice this. He finds a village and starts to walk over there, and when he gets there, he starts blatantly using hacks. Come on, man, we can see you are hitting him way over normal Minecraft hitting distance. Yeah, this is totally fake. He goes to mine in a nearby cave when all of a sudden the blocks around him become invisible. The speedrunner decides to type in chat, I think my game is broke. Which isn't fooling anybody, by the way. He digs to a lava pool and makes a portal, but when he goes in the nether, his spawn is in a dangerous position. Does the speedrunner A, fall in lava, B, go in the portal, or C, hacker mode? If you said C, you would be correct. He starts bridging insanely fast over this lava pool and crosses it. I guess this guy has a very good gaming chair. The speedrunner then finds a fortress, collects some blaze rods, gets some enderpearls, and heads back to the portal. He crafts some ice of and uses them to get to the stronghold. And everything is done legit here, surprisingly enough. I guess he doesn't want us to think he is cheating. The speedrunner gets to the stronghold and goes in the portal, and when he's in the end, he climbs up to the top of one of the end pillars and falls off. How do you have hacks and die? So the speedrunner makes his way back to the end and opens up the menu that we saw in the beginning of the run. He turns on a few settings and starts blatantly hacking against the dragon. And the hacker ends up dying again. Yeah, this this run is definitely fake. I'll give this speedrun an F for fly hacks. This next run that was submitted begins pretty legit. He gets some wood and then goes and gets some stone. After that, he goes to a crafting table and starts crafting something that I've never seen before. He gets an enchanted spawn egg, but I honestly have no idea what this does. He goes over to a flat surface and right clicks the ground. And after a few moments, a whole village spawns in. Obviously, this is completely fake, but how is there a whole village? full of OP ores. He collects the ores and makes his way over to a lava pool to make a portal. He goes over to a fortress and collects some nether brick then leaves the nether without getting anything else. I'm honestly lost as to what's going on, but all I know is this is not legit. He goes over to a flat surface and crafts something that I've never seen again. And when he places it down, a whole netherite fortress spawns. The chances of this are impossible. The speedrunner mines the fortress, crafts netherite armor, and goes to get some blaze rods. After he gets all these materials, he crafts another crafting recipe that I've never seen before. And when he places it, a whole OP stronghold spawns. Yeah, this is totally fake. He jumps in the fully lit portal and destroys all the crystals with his OP loot. And when the dragon comes down, he gets one shot. I rate the speedrun the Netherite Fortress out of 10. Our third speedrun begins pretty weirdly. The speedrunner spawns in a cave with an iron pickaxe only, and he goes to my some coal and specifically eight pieces of stone. He walks over to a crafting table that was left in the cave and crafts a furnace, and when he places down the furnace, he starts to smelt his pickaxe. And when it finishes smelting, it somehow has an enchantment. The chances of this happening in default Minecraft are zero. The speedrunner goes on to repeat this process until he has a maxed out iron pickaxe and he goes to mine some iron. He comes back to his crafting table and crafts something called a tier 1 furnace. So he enchants a piece of armor in the furnace and gets level 10 enchantments and repeats the process until he gets level 10 sword, pickaxe, and armor. He goes on and mines for some golden diamonds and when he gets some, he crafts some new armor and tools and makes a tier 2 furnace. This is getting out of hand. He smelts his tools and armor and gets a level 1000 enchantments. He goes into nether and gets a ton of gold with his fortune 1000 pickaxe. And once he gets to the fortress, he just kills one blaze and gets a ton of blaze rods. Yeah, yeah, this is too OP. He trades with a piglin for some ender pearls, and then the speedrunner gets bored and decides to try something out. He shoots his level 1000 bow directly above him and instantly dies. What is this speedrun, man? 
The next run that was submitted begins like most of these fake speedruns. The speedrunner spawns in a village and decides to get some wood. The next thing our speedrunner decides to do is walk around the village until he finds pieces of wood suspiciously huh? placed in a mountain. So the speedrunner tries to mine the wood yet fails for whatever reason. I guess he didn't prepare enough for his run. So the speedrunner gets annoyed and goes in creative to break the wood then switches back like nothing ever huh? happened. Inside the chest are two huh? stacks of emerald blocks. Yeah. Yeah, the chances of a chest spawning like this are impossible, let alone having emeralds. So he turns the emerald blocks into pieces and goes to trade with the villagers. In the first trade he sees is two emeralds for one golden apple. I'm sure this is legit. He gets around a half a stack of golden apples and waits for the villager to upgrade. I'm telling you right now, the next trade he gets is insane. He gets 16 pieces of bedrock for five emeralds. Yeah, the chances of this trade are zero. So the speed runner buys some stuff and waits for the villager to upgrade yet again. And when it does, he gets three level three potions. Yeah, these trades are getting a bit too OP. Something tells me this doesn't stop here. The next trade our speedrunner finds is one netherite ingot for a few emeralds. He buys 10 netherite ingots and some diamonds and crafts himself some diamond armor. He also makes a smithing table to make some netherite armor. The speedrunner buys some XP bottles, uses them, and gets protection 10 books. Who is this even in the game. Our speedrunner then gets bored and slash locates another village. He trades with some villagers there for an elytra and some fireworks. He then makes a portal with some obsidian he got from a villager and flies to a bastion in the nether. This is only getting more insane as the speedrun goes on. He starts to trade with a piglin and gets bored and goes in creative and gets some eyes of ender from there. This guy has no shame submitting this. He flies back to his portal and starts to find a stronghold. And once he finds the general location the stronghold is in, he starts to dig down but has no luck. So he gets annoyed and flies over to the stronghold in spectator mode and fills it in himself. Once he's in the end, he climbs up to the top of one of the end pillars with bedrock. Right. He finishes up getting end crystals and demolishes the dragon. I genuinely can't rate this one. It's so scuffed. This next speedrun that was submitted begins in a flat world, making it a dead run already. So the speedrunner comes across some giant building and types on a speedrun OMG new Minecraft feature Buddy, I don't think this was ever added. He walks over to a specific block and breaks it with his fist. Inside is a chest which has a maxed out netherite pickaxe. The chances of that spawning are impossible. He mines inside the lab and finds a scientist that is obviously just his friend. The scientist gives him some OP loot which the speedrunner tries to make up saying it's an easter egg. The next thing the runner decides to do is find a nether portal in the lab and he decides to go and check it out. And the portal instantly brings him to the sad excuse of a fortress. Coincidence? I don't think so. He finds a chest in his fortress with a looting three netherite sword and some blaze rods, and he decides to go to a warped forest biome and get some endermen there. He returns back to the lab and the scientist gives him a missile silo, some explosives, and a missile. I think I know where this is going. He goes to an end portal in the lab and fills it in, and when he goes into the end, he sets up a nuclear missile. This ender dragon is in for a rough time, and when it lands, it completely decimates him and the ender dragon. I have no words for this run. C for nuclear missile. 